welcome back to A New View. We hope that you've enjoyed our last two episodes talking about gifts with our special guest and friend, Tina Johnson. We talked first episode about homemade gifts and kind of the wreaths and the swags that you've seen on the set that she makes. She can also help you make them. She can make them for you. You can hire her services. So find the information on the bottom of your screen and we'll also share it on our Facebook page. Our second episode, we had a lot of fun talking about <laughs> quick edible gifts. And this episode, we're still going to be talking about gifts, but we're going to talk about simple gift ideas. Not only are they homemade, but it may be just little things that you don't even know of because really gifts from the heart, they don't have to cost a lot. Yeah. And so we're going to be sharing today on this final episode this week on gifts about some of the kind of neat little things that we've come up with that we've given our loved ones. Mm -hmm pretty fun I know I love this has been so much fun I love like can it be a holiday all the time what are we <laughs> what are we celebrating next <laughs> Okay, who wants to go first? Who's well, We're going to let Tina go first on okay. these scarves go, because Tina. this is a really neat idea. Okay, what you do, these are just scarves. This is more of a man's type of scarf. They're That's a pretty fabric. If they have, it's very soft. It's fleece fabric. Right. If they have a college team that they went, you can do that. Oh, yeah. If they've got colors that they wear with a suit or something, you can go with that. Um, here's a little bit more fancier one that I made a couple years ago. Oh, look, look at the details. And oh, I cut them with the streamers, and then I cut out the little That's beads. Cute. Little, um, did the beading, and then cut out these little flowers, and then just attached them and sewed what? them on there. So there's, you can go this elaborate with them, mm -hmm. or you can, can go you, very Can we simple. just real quick, I want to make sure that that can be seen, so if we okay. could just put this paper um, so yeah, a little bit really of embellishment pretty. with some beading. Yeah. And yeah. tell them, and you too, because, you know, my daughter likes to do the tie blankets, you know, the fleece blankets. Yeah. Like, you can thing. go to where they sell fabric, and they have this fleece in all different kinds of yes, designs. exactly. And you just have them, is it a certain size you have them cut it in? or um, you just Actually, this is nine, I mean, like seven to eight inches wide, and then however long you want it to be. Um, and actually, you can go to Joanne's Fabrics, and... They have remnants where they have cut off. I was thinking that, yeah. And so you can buy like a remnant of whatever they have and then cut out three or four, have your measurements when you go in there. And I've gotten four scarves out of 250. So it's very wow, inexpensive. Wow, that's really yes. good. And um, if you wanted to do something for your church, maybe for your children and, and your children's ministry, I'm also, I used to collect this fleece. And I took it to a local church of mine and gave it to them for the children to make scarves for the homeless children in wow. the places. So, um, yeah, you can either do it just for gifts for your friends and family, or you can take it to a larger scale and make it um, part of the missions that you're giving out to the homeless. Yes. And for nursing homes, I saw yes, them pass them out homes. at nursing homes because we, we like to yes. serve at nursing homes. And like I said, you know, I shared before the kids played their little recorders, but we've given yes. little cards. But I saw them passing out. Scarves. And that's this is a really mm -hmm. inexpensive, mm -hmm. but what a great yes. gift. Mm -hmm. What a great gift. Well, I'm even, <laughs> I always think of the kids whenever, you know, especially with your stuff too, right. because they're just. I'm thinking of like I've seen um, some superhero fabric. Uh -huh. and yes. Oh, hunty. And my little hunty would sports. love a scarf. Oh, he would look so, so dapper cute. with oh, it. Oh, that would be so cute. Um, and even like the sports teams. Yes. What a great idea. Oh, I know. Yes. You know. Right now, I'm sure the Astros. I'm already. My place, little mind's already going. My around. sister too yeah. loves this kind of stuff. Like so, whether they're into whether the children are into dance or sports, baseball, football, basketball, you're going to be able to find the fleece mm -hmm. with it. I believe right now. Um, it's on sale for two ninety nine a yard if you did have a sp particular style um, pattern that you wanted. So it's very inexpensive, and you can cut from a yard. You can cut several different mm -hmm. scarves out yeah. of one fabric. So mm -hmm. um, with mm -hmm. all of this all in the Houston Astros right now, I'm yeah. sure you could get oh, okay. a yard of that and cut, you know, or a couple of yards of it and cut yeah. um, scarves for your whole family. Mm -hmm. oh, that's that's so cute. So, I love that idea. Yeah, and that's it's very easy. Idea. So all you need is a good pair of scissors, mm -hmm. and then you just take and cut into the fabric. If you want a fringe um, effect like this, you just take, just like Michelle was bringing up, the, the knotting um, blankets. You just cut it into little strips. Mm -hmm. And just keep going along the bottom of it, and then yeah. you can just take them and, and this just stretch. It. And just it stretches, and then you just knot it up. And there you go. And There's then you create fringe. a fringe oh, that's so all the way across, and how easy is that? Yeah. The only thing you need is a good pair of scissors, and you can go to town. If you happen to be a sewer, and you happen to have pink and sheer scissors, you can do this type, and it gives a little bit of 
um, edge, different edge on the mm -hmm. range for you to straight cut. So them. what did you have to sew on this? Because I'm not a the sewer, so I'm trying to I figure out. I just hand sewed them with oh. a couple of stitches on here so that they wouldn't come off whenever I washed oh, it. Oh, the little flowers the on little the flowers. end. The little flowers, yes. Oh, that's cute. And these are just a little pattern just a little I little cut bead out of the it. on there. Yeah, I put the little beads. My cute. mom used to have these Scotty dogs, and so she really liked Scotty dogs at Christmas time. That's sweet. So that's sweet. where I came across this fabric and made these little, yeah, made that's these very like cute. This. So very yeah, nice. just there again, listening to whatever That's the person is saying, great idea. Mm -hmm. and following up with their love or their interest. Yeah, and go That's from there. Great. Very, very nice. good. I That's like a it. great. That's a great little thing. I actually, mine are kind of combined here. Okay. Um, you know that you can buy these little. Um, notebooks dollar store sometimes you can find them i think at the store i think they're two for a dollar fifty cents maybe mm -hmm. and they're the little spiral um index cards but they're on a little wire and i like to put little verses in them mm -hmm. and then i found these like little stickers or whatever oh, to those hide stickers you know are cute. to hide the that it's a, you know whatever it says meat or whatever the name brand of the spiral notebook but i put little stickers you can buy any little stickers and it has a little verse there but i um uh, do them in all different verses. So if someone you know is is kind of like our prayer, prayer script series yeah. on the books that we did, but um, I used to make these for people if they were overcoming, you know, to help them stop smoking all the mm -hmm. verses or just encouraging things yeah. or just for myself for different things. And they make great little gifts. And then you can just take a blank uh, note card. And this is the name book. I'm, I'm usually re referencing this in dreams, you know. But this great little book, I got it on Amazon, uh, Dorothy uh, Astoria, the name book. It lists the name, but it tells you the language and culture, culture origin, origin, inherent meaning, spiritual, spiritual connotation, and then it gives you a scripture. And so nice. I kind of say it's kind of like your life verse. I mean, mm -hmm. sometimes throughout our lives we'll have a life verse that really speaks mm -hmm. to us. And I know right. I have, you know, different different ones throughout my time. But I love that you can get this little book. And so what I did one year is I looked up all my family members' names. And I got these really cute little uh, cards. And I wrote down and said, like, just say, for instance, for Michelle, um, the inherent meaning is who is like God. Spiritual connotation is godliness. And then then my verse was Psalm 71 19 it says for your righteousness O God reaches to the heavens you who have done great things O God who is like you but I would write their names and I would yeah. tell them what, and then put their verse on there in mm -hmm. these really cute cards and they really liked it you know and mm -hmm. they could use it and, and save it but those are That's some pretty. great I mean you can put that there you can put your favorite Bible verse and put them on there right. very nice I used to carry something similar to this in my car and whenever I had my children were small when we were waiting in line to drop them off from school or picking them up, we'd read the, the verses in the in the book. We'd flip to a verse uh -huh. and read it before they got out of the car to go That's to school. That's sweet. That's a good idea. Yeah. A little, yeah. And if a you're memorizing car. verses, because yeah. I actually started exactly. this when we were memorizing Bible verses, mm -hmm. and we would put it on there, and that would help us. And I have friends mm -hmm. that use them today, and that's when they're memorizing Bible verses. They keep exactly. them in their purse. That's kind of cool. That's good. I All like right. It. So um, I'm going to go with uh, that is so something pretty. my daughter just painted for us. Aww. That's cute. And, that's just and canvas. because yeah, so she picked up a pack of a couple canvases, inexpensive, mm -hmm. and just sit, sat with some paints. And I love it because it's personalized. Right. Yes. And I can use it year after year. Heck? So did she come up with a pattern? She looked online and found a couple cute pictures. I said, okay, I love that one and that one, and she just picked it. And a couple that's hours sweet. later, she brought it over. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. So, but if you're not super creative and good at writing That's with paint cute. like That's me, pretty. you might want to um, alter the way that you do crafts, which would be, here's what I did. So I took um, a oh, picture frame yeah. and um, inside of the glass, I bought, uh, let's see. It says kiss me good night. Stencils. So I bought, yeah, I, and I found it in the clearance bin for 97 cents, y'all. Wow. And it was a stencil that said kiss me good night, but it was just one long one. And mm -hmm. so I cut it, and then I, um, it actually says, I think it says always kiss me good night. Anyway, yeah. I cut it, and then I took the glass, and I laid it down, and I stenciled backwards. With I flipped paint? the, right. yeah, yeah, with paint. Okay. And I stenciled it, so it's inside the glass. Okay. And then you choose whatever you want your picture to be behind it. Oh, that is so cute. you don't you yeah. have the stencil. You don't really have to be creative or gifted mm -hmm. in painting or writing right. or anything. And mm -hmm. I, I mean, I'm, it's going on a gray wall, so I chose kind of a dark everything, so it kind of right. stands yeah. out. But and you can get, uh, I mean, obviously any frame. Um, you can get letter stencils, anything, and just kind of make it say what you want. That is I love that yeah, because I actually the the last little one of the last little things I had here is because I love that idea. 
I don't know if I could do it, but I had a friend one time, I mean, it just where even if, if you're not even that crafty, cardstock, printing something on cardstock mm -hmm. and then just framing mm -hmm. it. I had, um, you know, a friend of mine, it's actually one of our bloggers out of the Oregon, um, Portland, Oregon area, Tiffany Thomas, and she wrote me this great prophetic word and, um, I just, you know, printed it out on cardstock and put it in a frame yeah. and I have it and I love it. It's just, it's been such a meaningful gift for me. Yes, mm -hmm. I, I love like it. that too. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I did, um, little journals. I love, um, I love finding these journals. I usually find stuff like at TJ Maxx or Marshall's and, um, they'll have like really cool messages and they're probably about seven bucks, I think. So it kind of just depends on, I didn't bring one of those today, but because yet when I was looking for different journals, I ended up just going to Hobby Lobby. Mm -hmm. And there's one section that they have there that has the coolest stuff. Like right now, everybody knows like flamingos and pineapples are like all Those the really rage. Cute. And I just um, put some ribbon around them. This was like $1.99 each. Okay, so that's what? what a cute $4, gift. wrap it up. And then you can put like your favorite pen, like I love these little Sharpies and tuck it in there or... Um, and if you want to even go a step further, you know, put your favorite book or devotional with it as a gift. But these that's are fun. Cute. Like Sophia, that's only 11, saw me with this. She's like, can I have those, please? Those are I was so like, well, after. Cute. So I put these two <laughs> together, but this set came together. So there was three of them. So, so you know, say, for instance, you know, you have friends, even if this wasn't Christmas time, you have right, a friend right. that you're very close to that's going to be going on a trip or it's her birthday and they're taking a trip. Yes. How cute are these? You know, like yes. if she's somebody that likes to read books or journal right. or anything on her trip on the airplane, that's how I am. So I always think of the stuff I like. This whole set, set of three was $5 at that Hobby Lobby. Wow. Put some ribbon around it. Again, you could do a pin. Um, but I have found mm -hmm. sets like this already put together at, um, TJ Maxx and oh gosh, I love, I'll do like one book like this and although it kind of destroys it, but I'll write like the book that we're studying, like right. Matthew. So I'll probably use a few of these for Matthew. Oh, that's good. And when I go back to look for my notes, it'll oh, say yeah. Matthew or oh, our yes. mind, you know how I am. I'm very visual yeah. too. So I'll be like, oh, I remember the pineapples from Matthew. Yeah. And <laughs> that's my Matthew <laughs> notes. Well, actually I love these because I have they're not a good seen, size. You know, they're they a are. good size because I have so many, like you take a journal and you go to use it somewhere. And then I usually just fold the pages inside because it's so big. I didn't right. use it oh, all yeah. up. But <laughs> Those this are the perfect. Are yes, the perfect that's why size. I like I them. Have not, I have, I have not found these, and you know I love. All, I'm all a dollar ninety nine, and they're lined. Perfect yes. gift. I know. Um, um, <laughs> but um, but that's know, perfect, and you can just write across it, like you said, Matthew mm -hmm. you wrote whatever mm -hmm. you're doing, or, or on the inside if you don't want to mess but up the outside. These are perfect size because they're not. Too yes, I love that. These be. were fun. So I love those. I love those. Are we moving on? Am I going again? All right, yes, yeah. Okay, ahead. so this, um, my little display, this is so fun. Sophia and I, a couple of years ago, and I think it was from my friend Angela, I cannot remember why we got started with making bracelets, but we started making these bracelets. Um, and you see them everywhere. Different boutiques sell them. And um, I liked them starting off uh, because I like to wear uh, bracelets to the gym. I like to dress up to go to the gym, <laughs> but I don't like to destroy a nice bracelet. Right, right. And so I decided to start making them. And now the only trick you make these, right? They're not very hard. You need um, stretch magic thread. This is 0.7 millimeters. You really have to pay attention to the measurement because it will change. Like these, I think are 0.5. If they're too stretchy, they roll around too much. Some of some of us mm -hmm. might like that, mm -hmm. but I like mine to have a little bit less give. Um, and so you start off with your string. This was literally 250. Less than it was 250 at um, Hobby Lobby. You just tape a little piece of your string here. You kind of need to measure about the size of your wrist, how much give you want to give it. Like this one has like a really big bead on it. And you can buy the beads at Hobby Lobby, Michaels. I've gone to Harwin and bought them, but they come in a string like this. Now you don't just do that. You gotta take <laughs> it apart and bead it onto your string. Okay. And I like to use these for cutting. I don't, I don't know if you can, I think you could probably get away with regular scissors, but these work great and get them at Hobby Lobby. They were a few dollars. And part of the other reason why I did this is I am, again, visual and I love symbols and a lot of the bracelets now have like the evil eye and the, all the stuff scrolls. with, um, uh, yeah. And I hate, I did not like scrolls. So mm -hmm. I just was like, I'm going to start putting my own symbols on these things. So this is like a cross and you put different sparkly beads. This one has angel wings 
And um, you can buy these little things. You can buy little tassels, little tassels. But this one says pray. So like I'll make bracelets to remind me when I see it, it means something to me like, oh, pray. Or when I used to run, I literally know it sounds goofy, but I'd wear some of these and look at them. Like that's just how I am. So they're not very expensive. You need to seal it with a little bit of bead fix gel. Um, when you go to seal the end of your string, tie the knot. And I am crazy and I love to stack them yes, <laughs> and act so like a crazy lady. And I don't even care because I'm like gorgeous with all these on. <laughs> so there's That's my daughter cute. is 11 and she yes. could make these a couple years yes. ago. She needed a little help. She made her own little bead box. Very Again, cute. Hobby Lobby is a place to go. And then I got this. I think you can get these at like TJ Maxx, but no, I like no. to just display them so I can see them and take them off and wear them. Um, but they're great gifts if you know yes. kind of the size that you would want them to be and you can stack them, pray over them. Yes. And even if they don't last, but I mean, I've had these for like a long time already. Mm -hmm. um, you know, and if you break it, it's something that you, you made yeah. and you can make it again or fix it. Mm -hmm. And you're not, yes. you're not at a boutique thinking, oh, I'll those probably never see that cute. again. Yeah. Right. So those are really fun. All kinds of different. And you can personalize them. I just yes, love that. Yes. That's and I like to, I will, I will compare shop. Like I like to go buy, I think Hobby Lobby probably has a lot of the really good stuff and Michael's does too. Mm -hmm. But, um. I don't like to spend a lot of money when I'm doing this kind of stuff. It's all mm -hmm. of a sudden I'm like really cheap. So I really, Hobby Lobby has a lot of stuff though. Mm -hmm. So you just catch right. them when they're on sale. And, and there's, there's some bead places, you know, like, and there's some wholesale <laughs> beads. I think you can also get them yeah. online, some yeah. different places. Yeah. Yes. Joanne carries them also. Yeah. yeah. You there, there you go. No, I need to go. Yeah, need so to you just need the string, mm -hmm. some stuff to do it with. I think Pinterest probably has some good ideas and just, it's so Take fun. Take apart some old jewelry too. Yes, that's yeah. you're not wearing. Some old beads. Yes, you and so oh, sorry. Good. Yeah, Sophia liked to make them for her teachers. Yes, she made one for one of her gifts. teachers that she put like these little angel wings on, and I was like, oh, Sophia, that's so sweet. But the, it was very symbolic for her. Mm -hmm. She lo absolutely loved that teacher, oh, and so they're really sweet gifts. And just put them in a little jewelry pouch. Oh, wow. That's good because so. I have some little bracelets because oh, I actually yeah. love the stretchy bracelets, but I yeah. have to have them a little bigger because I am one. I have very wide. Right mm -hmm. here, so I cannot wear all the bangles, okay. and I get really yeah. irritated. Me and my sister says, "Sure, you can wear bangles," and I'm like, "No, I really cannot Can't. get the bangles." And then the if you get the extra large bangles, like I have a James Avery that just a bangle, I had to get the bigger one. But it to me it slides, it doesn't slide off, but it's just a yeah. little too big. But I'm just I'm like, oh, I always get the bangles. I like those, but these little bracelets are just with the wire, oh, wow. and you yeah. can um, wrap them. Now these right They're here, like that these were stack. made. Um, they did little ones, so they're not, I mean, you can double them up, but yeah. if you have a wider thing and you want them to look like bangles, you can get the smaller beads. Mm -hmm. And I actually saw when I went to the Junk Gypsy um, back in uh, October, um, yeah, it was September, October, they had these, but they had them much longer yeah. and they wrapped and they yeah. wrapped oh, all around so and then pretty. they had different things they had different tassels charms yes. and they were really cute but they like it made it look like you're stacking like you had them a bunch of them yeah and you don't but these right here i think i don't know if my dark they're just like little bitty wire and you just mm -hmm. these are same thing like to make them where they're not stretchy they're just the open yeah wire. easy to get off and on too for yeah. sure yeah. Mm, i love it all right well we're going on to um <laughs> To books. So um, instead of a greeting card, and I'm thinking, I can't remember if this was like Valentine's Day or anniversary or something, but I, the love book, have you ever heard of yeah, that? Yeah, I've heard of that. So um, it's uh, lovebookonline.com. They have different books you can create. You can choose your oh. cover. They have all kinds of different occasions, Christmas, Valentine's, anniversaries, weddings, Father's Day, graduation, thank you, get well, birthday, apologies. That would be a funny book to read, oh, an apology yeah. book. So sorry. <laughs> but inside of all the different, there's many more themes than that. But um, inside of that, you can choose your cover. You actually create um, the giver and the receiver, an image wow. of the oh, of the people uh -huh. that, um, okay. Like and then um, you choose what you want the pages to look like <gasps> and um, what wow. you, so you type, all the wording in it. Oh. So, <laughs> like, I don't know which ones of these I wanna share. Um, so you put all the, did you have to pre-plan or could you do it while you're going along and edit it really well? How does that work? You do. You said, I probably took, I mean, you can make this take as long as you want. You can okay. add extra pages and pay extra and things like that, but it's pretty simple. It's like, these are all so of our different pages. So they give you a pages. template of you how can, many pages. And, yeah. Okay, yeah, good. There's a basic oh, range okay. because the books, they, they do, um, this is soft cover. They have hard cover as well and they range from 38 to $50. Okay. But, um, you know, he kept this out for a year and normally the cards would go in a pile somewhere yeah. or the, you know, but this 
it's in his office, so oh, you know. Okay, <laughs> like like this one. I this is. Um, I love cuddling with you and falling asleep while you watch boring westerns. Uh, uh, he likes not, boring you're, westerns. You're not oh, going to find man. a greeting card that says that, but you yeah. can say it yourself. Yeah, you know? yeah. that's so. very cute. Jen yeah. likes boring westerns too. <laughs> I got a lot of them recorded. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're just getting over there with Joe yeah. and boring westerns. <laughs> that I is the it. cutest thing because that actually, um, I did not know about that, but I know that there is. Um, if you've seen on your, um, there's an app called Free Prints, and it's actually a butterfly. It's an app. Okay. And wow. you get so many free prints a month and out of your camera roll on your phone mm. for a smartphone. And so they'll send you little reminders, and you just pay the shipping and handling so you can get the pictures that you take printed off. Okay. And so they'll send you a reminder. And then they started doing um, the free prints. They now do photo books. Wow. And so they'll say, you earned a free photo book this month. You just pay the shipping and handling, which I think is $3.99 or 5 dollars wow. and I had just a couple of pictures and so uh, um, we've been married 21 years but last year for our 20th anniversary um, we had had this taken as like kind of a friend's um, daughter's wedding and then I just kind of put you know like we had a little selfie but yeah. these were all pictures out of my um, cell camera. phone cell camera that yeah. we took we had gone to Barton Springs in Austin and yeah. and what we did and then put some you know pictures of my kiddos and things Cute. in there and um it was free and I got to put the little thing love is all you need and I actually put this actually I made into Christmas postcards actually that's probably why it says that because I put Merry Christmas Happy New Year um, because I printed off the, from the free prints and yeah. gave family members our family wow. photo. But it's it's a butterfly app. It's called Free Prints, and it's mm -hmm. a free app, and um, you just pay shipping and handling, and they have um, books. I noticed a lot of weddings that I've been to recently, and my That's nephew, fun. they make the big ones. You can make whatever size you want, and you mm -hmm. can pay extra or whatever, but they have big ones, and they put pictures of, like, their um, engagement pictures or whatever, and then you can sign them, and that's what they're using as, like, their guest registry oh, at weddings. Or, okay. Wow. It was really interesting because okay. my nephew and them had, had pictures taken from their different vacations, and then people got to... Yeah, because oh, how often do we keep our the guest book that's out? That's true. Mm -hmm. exactly. you know, yeah. I, still ha I know I still have mine, Yeah, and it's but a big I don't book. ever rig it out for no. anything, but if it's a picture book... Yeah. And, yeah, it's a big, cool. and it's a big, you know, probably eight and a half by 11, or whatever size they chose. But mm -hmm. several weddings, they had that. And I thought, what a great idea. It really is. I could see that being used, too, as um, with a birthday. You know, a right. little, if it's someone's birthday, birthday, like a yes. kid's birthday party or something. Oh, yeah. As I'm always thinking of my kids. But mm -hmm. as Sophia's getting into her little, she'll be in preteen years soon enough. You know, printing, having one printed out for the birthday and at mm -hmm. the party, everybody signs it. And then, yeah. you know, you have pictures of that That's year awesome. or that time right. of your life. So... And I, I just, that. I earned a free one not long ago and it, I didn't do a hard cover, so it was even cheaper. I don't remember. I know it was like five bucks or something, but, um, I just had a, a picture and I just put, um, the little saying about Texas, you know, um, and then actually I added a bunch of the pictures from the hurricane, some of the damage that we had uh -huh. in raw yeah. port, some different things so that we could have them all in, in, in one thing so I could take them off my phone, but it was a right. great way. And yeah. like I said, they send them to you and you earn a free one every once in a while. I don't know what the price is if you have to just buy it off full price. Full but price. Right. Mm -hmm. Very good. Well, we have a scripture to share too. And as I'm thinking of this scripture we were we were talking about we've done this is our third show about gifting and giving yes. our first one was highlighting Tina I don't know mm -hmm. if you saw that in our series about her helping you decorate and her showing us her gift of being able to create things like this and our swag and then we talked about edible gifts <laughs> we were joking about them. eating your way through Christmas eating your way through the holidays yes. and just giving those gifts and a lot of us either enjoy cooking or enjoy baking or we don't but it's an easy way to give to people right. and to give something that, you know, maybe that you are good, one recipe that you're good right. at that, you know, people like. And then this one about giving things that either we've made or that are inexpensive or that we love. And so it just reminds me of our scripture from Second Corinthians. What is it? Second nine Corinthians seven. nine, seven. And this is the um, Passion Translation. Let giving flow from your heart, not from a sense of religious duty. Let it spring up freely from the joy of giving, all because God loves hilarious generosity. I think that is so, so good. funny it. that it says hilarious generosity because how much fun mm -hmm. have we had taping exactly. these shows? Exactly. And we hope that you guys see that and we hope that you get our message that 
Sometimes Christmas or any holiday where you're having to give, like a birthday or anything where you're having to gift give, for some of us it can be stressful because we put so much value into what we're purchasing and what we're giving or we're wondering if that person that receives it will receive our heart in it or or whatever the case may be. But we want you to know there are so many different ways to give gifts and so many different amounts of money. You know, you don't have to spend a lot. You can make something and that it's enjoyable for you and that we've given you new ideas of giving because God loves a cheerful giver. He's made us cheerful givers and he's a cheerful giver. So we hope that you've, you've gotten that message from our shows. And so I love that, that he's a, he loves a cheerful giver and who isn't happy when you're making something from the heart and and giving it to someone or, or picking up something, you know, or, you know, doing something that it may take a few more minutes than just grabbing something off the shelf, Mm -hmm. but just how much more, I mean, if you just grab off the shelf and you don't really put a lot into it, it's not really meaningful, you know, yeah. but if you really take a, just a few extra moments, it doesn't, it doesn't have to cost a lot, a few extra moments and really just let that for Ken, you know, exactly. in, in his office, that's mm-hmm. great. Mm-hmm. And then another verse, we had every good and perfect gift, of course, comes from above. Our great father mm-hmm. in heaven, he loves us so much. He wants to give us good things. Mm-hmm. And then of course, how do we give praise back in second Corinthians nine fifteen? is we thank God for his indescribable gift that he gave us in giving us Jesus and things. So we we hope that this year that you will not feel stressed out about the holidays. Mm-hmm. If you need some help, get Tina's services. Okay. You're going to have all the information. Let her make it for you. Let her help you make it. Let her give you some ideas. If you want to make some of these great edible things in our last episode, or if you don't, let Kim make them for you. <laughs> and then just these little different ideas. We hope that you will really enjoy just really taking a little few extra moments just to make a meaningful gift because gifts from the heart, they don't have to cost a lot. So we hope that you've enjoyed a new view. Maybe you've gotten, like Stephanie said, some new ideas for yeah. simple gifts, homemade gifts, edible gifts. We hope whatever you're doing this holiday season that you will first and foremost thank God for his indescribable gift in Jesus. We hope that you enjoy a new view each and every week. Take care.